Hey, what's going on, Knuckles family? It's going on, Eagles Nation. It's your boy, R.R. Knuckles. Here to give you a semi-Victory Monday video. And when I mean by semi, you know, um, you know, this, this was the bye week. You know, we were off uh, yesterday. We had the pleasure of uh, watching our NFC East um, rivals go out and play today. And, you know, um, you, you could say that it was a, it was a success. Um, Giants and um, Washington football team played. Um Giants won that game. I think we saw that coming. Granted, they almost blew the lead, like they always saw in almost every single game that they've been playing. But I will say they do play tough each game. Like they don't quit. They don't give up. So we definitely have to play better against them. Like if we if we were to play if we played the same way how we did against the Cowboys against the Giants, yeah, we would have lost that game. We clearly would have lost that game. And then you know the Cowboys hang in there, but they lost to the Steelers. I mean, I will say this though. Ben Roethlisberger looks hurt. Like, that one play where he just got sandwiched on, he looks hurt. So, maybe, you know, this... I mean, granted, I don't have a bye week because they had, their bye week goes early due to, the, um, due to COVID. But maybe... I don't know. Maybe he can heal up in this uh, during this uh, week. Who knows? Because if Ben is gone, they're screwed. Like, they're, they, they are screwed. If Ben is gone, they have no hope. So... You can only hope, you know, it's not a serious injury. Now, granted, he still played the full, the full entire game, the whole, whole entire game. But, you know, ran getting hurt, I mean, that's, you see that often if you're a Steelers fan. So, you can only hope, you know, he's, uh, everything's like, you know, good with him. But, yeah, Cowboys lost the game and they hung in there. But, at the end of the day, we know that the Steelers were the better team. So, <coughs> they gave them false hope. So, that they, granted, the Steelers should have played better. Offensive particularly because, you know, the defense was on the field a lot during the first half. So, it's like, hey, defense, uh, can y'all do something? I mean, not defense, can, offense, can y'all do something for us right now? So, anyways, Cowboys lost. So, they said, we can only hope that this bye week somehow Wentz and uh, Peterson can get the relationship back up together. Because, in my opinion, it really falls down on those two guys. Like, Wentz has to, keep, has to fix up these mistakes. It's not like they're... It's not like he's just making terrible throws or anything like that. He's just making boneheaded decisions. Like, he's playing hero ball. He's doing the basics. You know what I mean? He's making, like, these things... He's making these small things like make, make it so difficult for him. It's not all that difficult, bro. Like, to, you take what the defense gives you. Don't try to make a hero... Don't ha, don't try to make play hero ball each uh, play. You know what I mean? And Peterson, you gotta, you know, come up with some better play calls. Especially when it comes down to the red zone. You know what I mean? So, I feel as though if Wentz and, uh, excuse me, Peterson can, can fix up their mistakes, you know, I think they can be okay. And Schwartz, you know, the defense, you know, the defense is doing, the defense is like, you know, they're, they're doing okay. It's not, they're not doing the best, but they're doing okay. They're keeping us in games and stuff like that. I mean, granted, you know, you look at them and be like, how did you let that play happen? You know what I mean? But um, I can only hope that, you know, and again, with uh, TJ Edwards there and uh, Alex Singleton, they played all right. They didn't play like pro bowlers, but they played all right. Like they played better than, better than Nathan Gary, tell you that much. <laughs> tell you that much right now. So, excuse me. I think the defense will be okay. Like I said, Slay's been, uh, been has been <coughs> taking one side of the half, taking one side of the field um, off for the uh, for the offense. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, like I said, the front four is going to eat. Secondary's been playing better, you know what I mean? They're, they're slowly been showing them playing better. They haven't been playing better than they were last year, I'll tell you that much. But, you know, we can only hope that from this bye week, the Eagles play a lot better, especially that our schedule's going to get a lot tougher. Like I said, you can um, you meet the Giants and you can beat Cleveland. Then from there you have Seattle, Green Bay, New Orleans, and Arizona. And in some way, you can say the Cowboys because they're going to play tough no matter what. Like, they're going to um, want to, you know, destroy our hopes for winning that division. So, yeah, like I said, we have – you win these two games, these, these first these first two games, four and four. Then you get to, like, the real party of the season right there. So, if we come out, you know, like like uh, three and one from that, um, from that stretch, you know, that would be great, you know. So I was like, if two and two, yeah, but grab if we can win all four of those games, that'd be great. But I don't see it happening. But if we come out from three and one, I'll be happy with that. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, hopefully, you know, the Eagles come out as a better team from their bye week. You know, 
Miles is coming back. Alshon, I'm a little bit concerned because I feel as though he'll take some reps away from the younger guys. Like I said, I still don't like Jordan Malata at right tackle, and then you're putting Jason, Jason Peters back at left tackle. Like I just do not like that whatsoever. Um, like I said, for some odd reason, we want to we want to play favoritism for these old guys. But granted, to my, in my opinion, I don't think Alshon deserved it because he said he's been. I mean, he hasn't been playing all season. He, like Fulgham, Rhaegar, and Ward definitely deserve it. Like, he just can't be started. That's my thing. And now with Peters, you know, <laughs> he hasn't been playing great this season. Jeremiah Lott's playing better than him. So, you know, and then by the time Lane gets healthy, what are you going to do with Malata? He's been playing great. And then you're going to be like, hey, 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 sit, sit this one down, big buddy, big fella. It's like, come on, man, really? So, yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Um... Like I said, hope the Eagles can play can play better uh, the second half of the season because this is where this is where you know this is where the, uh, where we show who we are. See, you know, stack up against this NFC. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be it for today, guys. Subscribe if you want to be part of the Knuckles family. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Follow me on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and don't forget to follow me on Anchor. And always remember, guys, as uh, J Cole said, there is no such thing as a life better than yours. Take care. Peace.